Ashley Company has racked up an impressive array of stamps in her passport, visiting more than 40 countries and territories all over the world. But don't get the wrong idea. These aren't merely pleasure trips. Ashley's passion for travel is intertwined with her desire to make a positive impact on young people abroad and right here in Brooklyn. That commitment was formalized in 2013 when Ashley launched the inaugural class of Jelani Girls, a cultural enrichment program that undertook an international youth service project in Ghana, West Africa. That's right. And since then, the young women aged 14 to 18 have visited more foreign locales and affected the lives of thousands of children in need while broadening their own horizons and reimagining the possibilities for their futures through engagement, empowerment, and exploration. So now we're happy to welcome to BK Live, Ashley. Ashley Company, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And you may see we've got some technology at play here. Joining us via Skype from the University of Alabama is a former Jelani girl there, Jalen Cleveland. Hey, Jalen. Hi, Jalen. University of South Alabama. South we apologize Alabama. about that. Ashley, how did you come up with this idea? Everyone wants to travel. Everyone should want to do some good. How would you marry these two things? Well, I actually did a lot of traveling on my own. Um, I took a solo mission backpacking through several countries um, and really being in contribution through service. Mm -hmm. And it was a transformative experience for myself, so I thought, why not um, organize a structured opportunity for young people? Um, mm -hmm. is at ages 14, 18, that's really a, a time to be able to form and really develop, and we want them to just go down the right path. So I thought, what, what better time than now? Mm -hmm. awesome. What does Jelani mean? Jelani is a Swahili word, and it means greatness. So we help girls reimagine what it means to be great through cultural enrichment. Excellent. And why only girls? Brian's why only girls? I know. <laughs> I got a passport. I know. Well, you know, I'm really passionate about girls and women. Mm. There will be opportunities to strategically uh, develop and collaborate with other organizations to take care of our boys um, because they are very important. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, at the capacity, we really want to do um, something really, really well as opposed to spreading out too thin at first. And so we're really focused on our girls. Mm -hmm. All right, you get a pass on that Thank one. You. Just because I saw Jalen shaking her head over there. <laughs> so Jalen, you've expanded your horizons right to South Alabama University. Congratulations, young lady. Thank you. So why'd you get involved with Jelani Girls when you were just a little girl? Um, with, presented with the opportunity to join Jelani Girls, I felt as though it would provide me with the structure to help me understand how other people live and how to view people as a person instead of where they come from and just make myself a better person all around. And do you feel you gained that understanding and that you came out on the other end a, a better person, a global citizen? Yes, I feel, I feel like I have. Um, being able to travel to Trinidad and Tobago and to be able to give to the children over there, it made me want to come back home and do more community service. And since then, I've gained about 400 hours of community service. Oh, wow. Wow. Listen, there's a little celebration moment. Yeah. She's like, it's so working. It? Yes. It's working. It's a proven concept. These girls come back transformed. Yeah. The, even their grades increase. And, and statistics show that when you travel abroad, your grades will increase. And she went from uh, already being a wonderful person, going from good to great. I mean, so she's right. just doing phenomenal You've things. Gone supernova over there. Absolutely. Yeah. She's always a 400 star. 400 hours. But seeing this and knowing the success, how are you going to just put it in the water and spread this thing. You've mm -hmm. marched yourself into Brooklyn, but something tells me you're looking for girls here? Absolutely, we really want the girls to apply. Um, just about a little over a month ago, we had our first launch um, in Brooklyn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Achievement First was our venue sponsor. They're very, uh, they really mm -hmm. got behind us and, and really welcoming the community to find out what Jelani Women membership is and how that will sponsor girls from the community to be able to have scholarships and have these types of opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yes, we are looking for girls to come to Brooklyn. We will be going to Zambia and Zimbabwe next year for our cultural immersion trip. Yeah. Um, wow. And the actual cultural enrichment program and the training starts in January. Oh, so it's that time to get your applications. January. Absolutely. So there's a lot of potential Jelani girls and Jelani women who are watching online or they're yes. sitting on their sofa right now. Bridge that gap. 
So um, for people who want to become Jelani Women and Jelani Girls, oh, yeah. the, they somebody. absolutely want to go to our website and all of our social media, um, JelaniGirls.org, JelaniWomen.org, and from there they'll be able to apply and really find out a lot more details about the program. Yeah. But essentially it's just really helping them connect to more humans beyond borders mm -hmm. and really understanding and appreciating diversity and culture right. as well as service that's the cornerstone that's what makes us unique is the service project um, mm -hmm. that we do the women's trips and the girls trips are separate um, oh. and the women's trips actually go to support uh, the proceeds go to support the girls as well Phenomenal. Um, and, and as well as a membership but there's right. just a lot I'll be periscoping being able to just really answer questions in right. more detail about the program but they definitely want to go to the website yeah. jelanigirls.org slash apply uh -huh. and, and get those applications and in. And if you're not up on your Swahili it's mm. J-E-L-A-N-I yes. as you showed the lower third Jelani Girls and women .org. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So the women travel they do separate trips and they also fundraise then for the girls is that how it works yes so basically for the Jelani women international service trips it's a vacation with a purpose so you feel really good about having some fun so they have a lot of fun they get immersed they do everything but then they also do a service project and they're paying for their vacation nice. and the proceeds from that vacation allows them to um, fundraise for the girls. It's yeah. a it's a fundraiser for the girls. I see. We've got some photos up here from some of the various locations. What are some of the other places you've gone to? So Jelani Girls has gone to uh, Ghana as well as Trinidad and Tobago t two years in a row mm -hmm. and now we'll be going to Zambia and Zimbabwe. Right. Jelani Women have gone to Honduras, um, Trinidad and Tobago as well as um, gearing up for two trips in South Africa. Beautiful grown women with passports wow. and no real housewives drama. No, like, it's such an amazing trip. experience. So I'm looking at you now, Miss University of South Alabama. You've made the transition, and I'm sure with all those community service hours, soon you'll be a Jelani woman. I'm hoping to become a Jelani woman soon. I actually have a surprise for her. She doesn't know. A lot of people don't know. We've just uh, recently uh, made a decision to bring in a collegiate component to really bridge that gap between oh. the girls in high school and the women. Yeah. And so there will actually be an opportunity for you to study abroad um, with, with Jelani girls as that ambassador, as that leader from that college Look experience. That. During college. You yeah. just turned our show into Oprah. You just said, <laughs> you, yeah. get yeah. you get another chance. That yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah, so there will be an opportunity stop. for that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm it. really not mad at you now just because boys aren't included. You just keep <laughs> expanding those circles. Yes. So at a time when, like, our producer Gama this morning said about 75% of Americans don't even have passports. Mm. What gave you the feeling that you could overcome this for young women, especially young women of color, who no one is checking for to be traveling internationally, and you're pushing them in service around the world? Um, I really, I, I'm bold, and I knew that I had to be bold in order to um, have people feel comfortable with making those decisions for themselves. I knew I had to make the decision for myself first right. and just kind of give them an example to follow. And so after backpacking those solo travels um, in such an extensive and rigorous way, um, I was able to structure opportunity where they can feel comfortable because we prepare them. We really customize mm -hmm. the experience for the girls and the women. But for the girls specifically, um, we customize it in such a way for girls who have never been out of the country, and oftentimes they haven't even been outside of their state or on right. an airplane. Or city. So we, yeah, yeah, yeah that has people or borough. in Brooklyn who've never even been never to been the Empire State building. We're here to change that. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. definitely here to change that. We're really trying to uh, disrupt that continuous cycle of thinking that you can't go outside of your backyard. Right. How long is the cultural enrichment program, and how do you decide when girls are ready to travel? Mm. Great, great question. So um, the program, the training starts in January, and there's orientation, mm -hmm. and then there's different um, curriculum built in uh, virtually so that the girls really have an understanding of what they're going to experience mm -hmm. to prevent culture shock. We get their passports for them, um, mm -hmm. their vaccinations, everything from start to finish. Um, we take care of that for them, and so it's from January until June, mm -hmm. and then they will go with the monthly sessions, and then monthly they will sessions. go abroad for eight to ten days, depending on the site location, right. um, for the actual cultural immersion trip and international youth service project well I can totally feel your passion just radiating from here so I'm gonna ask you in our last 40 seconds to let people know how they can be as lucky as our University of South Alabama a student over there and get involved with Jelani girls absolutely we just love for you to go to jelanigirls.org and as he said j-e-l-a-n-i 
girls.org or jelaniwomen.org to find out more information and how you can get involved, sponsorships, donations, um, actually applying and being a part of our program to have this transformative experience, both from girls and women, go from good to great. Awesome. Mm. Thank you so much, Ashley. Thank you, Jalen. Go study for those Thank midterms. Thank you, Jalen. She just left psychology class. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now you've got another trip on your horizon to prepare for. Yeah. We'll Congratulations. Be you soon. Thank you. All right. Phenomenal. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much, man. Shalanigirls.org.